Hello everyone, I'm just going to show you quickly today how I grade this particular shot um, in DaVinci Resolve. A um, few people have asked um, and I want to show you exactly what my setup is in Resolve to, to show how my workflow is and what exactly I'm working with. Um, this particular shot was shot with the Blackmagic Cinema camera uh, in film log mode um, in the DNX HD setting in camera. Um, as you can see just here, it was 25 frames per second in DNX HD. I'm going to go to our settings and go to the master project settings. I'm um, just checking that it is in 25 frames per second um, and the conform options is 25 still. The lookup tables, I'm using the Fujifilm and Kodak preset LVTs that you can download for free online. Uh, this one in particular is the one I've been using on all my stuff. Um, I love it, it's probably the best result that I've been able to get. So I'm going to keep it as that one. I'm going to jump forward to colour. This preset automatically uh, gives you this very high contrasty cold looking picture. Um, don't be too worried about that because we can obviously see all, alter that to bring it back to the richness and the, and the, the colour and the saturation that we want. Um, so I'm just going to drop down our luminance levels here. Um, this is how I've been grading in DaVinci Resolve so it's not necessarily the, the right way of doing it but I'm just going to show you today what what I've been working with and how I've been able to achieve the looks that I've been able to get. Um, that's about my curves I'm going to do for the base layer. I'm going to put my saturation up to 100% and I've got this really nice looking picture there um, without being too blown out on the shirt there. Um, I love nodes with this so I'm going to use a few uh, circular nodes. So I'm going to add a circular node here and I'm going to use this on her. Uh, I'm just going to narrow it down to just her face, feather it out a little bit and aim it more there. I'm going to use the curves bring up the curves a little bit there bring down the black levels there just to just to uh, just to highlight more of a hair just there um, without making sure we're not going into uh, to clip range in our side of her face there I'm just going to bring up the saturation just a little bit to to bring the uh, to bring the um, hair color back in then what I'm going to do is add a serial node for the for a vignette around the edge. Just a slight enough, just enough to give it, I'm going to really feather it out. I'm just going to bring it up to that central area there. I'm just going to drop that right down. One thing I forgot to do was to, uh, to invert that node. So in our options here I've got uh, invert, I'm going to invert it out. back to my curves. I'll just bring it down. Let's just bring the saturation level up a little bit there. I'm going to put a little bit of contrast into it there. Down a little bit more. And there we have it. That's a very, very quick grade in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, again, this is what I prefer to grade like, um, and that's what I've been able to get straight out of the camera, um, especially using uh, the film log mode. Um, and it just gives you that, that amount of latitude to work with that just gives you that awesome crisp quality picture um, retaining all the saturation that you need. Thank you very much.